I'm not sure where I should be saying this. He then proceeded to deep throat my microphone. And then my parents got divorced. Once the burn's over, it's fine. In the pub today, we have Max Fosh, the man who ran for mayor of London, became a member of the royal family for 43 minutes, and tricked folks into thinking they landed in Luton Airport by mistake. Hello and welcome to See It Off, the show with strong questions and even stronger drinks. Today we're joined with Max Fosh. <laughs> Kind. That's what? That's kind. I think, oh, kind. I think I did. There's Ken. There's Ken. Ken. I'm really excited about this one. Fantastic. Yeah, are you nervous, scared? I don't know what I'm doing with you today. <laughs> Classic. Well, I know what I'm doing today, and I'm very excited because yeah. it's always fun when a bambino back gives you a call. <laughs> and you go, And uh, says, do you know Nicole Milana? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, but uh, I'll come on. Yeah, okay. lovely. Um, yeah. No, thanks for filling the space. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The rules are simple. I ask a question, you see it off, and we all laugh. The questions get more intense as the drinks get stronger. It's not that difficult. Introducing you to Becky with the big behind. Bunda Bex. Bunda Bex. Although, actually, she doesn't have a bunda. No, she's quite flat in that department. She does have big breasts, though. Yeah, breasty Becky. <laughs> Large memory glands. Mabel with the mammary glands. They're not real, <laughs> surely. This is the posh version of Becky with the boom bunda. <laughs> this is not British English. Mabel with the marge ma marge large mammary glands. <laughs> Let's get started. Let's go. <laughs> oh, uh, are we looking levels wise? <laughs> do, 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 Get some more in there. Have you ever worked on a video and just sacked it off? Have a think and drink. Thank you. Bet you have. <laughs> I don't know if that's an insult. <laughs> he puts his pinky up. Ooh. That was a struggle, which is not a good sign for the rest of the show. I'm really not a big drinker. We've had a pint we've had, before. <laughs> we've both had a pint in each other's company before. Yeah. Well, we were doing a video about drinking. And then the next time we did a video, we were kicking footballs into massive beer yeah. cups. But we have had beers just, you know, yeah. ourselves. And I will say, one pint I remember fondly, because I needed it very, very badly, was just before the Sidemen video, where yes. I forced you to be a pint. <laughs> We did a video where we just kind of, you know, like, knit. Yeah, eat some cheese. Fun fact about Wensleydale. <laughs> Sorry, I know it wasn't the question, but, you know, um, Wallace and Gromit it got famous when you went, Wensleydale. <laughs> um, they chose that cheese name because it accentuated his mouth loads in the animation. So his mouth it went, Wensleydale. And that did. made the cheese basically famous. Oh. They just picked a random cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've had loads of video ideas which just are rub a bit rubbish, but we haven't really got that far in that normally I'll just like think of the title of the video. I always think in headlines. I was like, okay, what's the headline that people are gonna tell tell their mates in the pub? It's like, oh, did you see that video where this guy did blank? Oh, okay. It's the best way that I come up with video. So you titles. think of that first? Yeah, although we talk about algorithms stuff like that, it's still essentially word of mouth. Everything's yeah. word of mouth. Because yours are viral. They do try to be. And so there's one that I've wanted to do for essentially years but I've struggled with it which is to water ski behind a cruise ship their marketing team said yes right their risk department <laughs> said no oh my god and one of the stunt coordinators who's worked on bond <laughs> he said he's keen to do it oh my but god. we just need to find a really big ship so if you have a really big ship let me know and I'm also trying to cook a Tesco ready meal in an active volcano in lava I've tried to do that for, for a year I'd love so. to be in your brain for five, just five seconds. If you'd made me sit here for days, I would never have thought of either of those ideas. Sours. Sours. Take you back to your youth. These shot glasses sound the back made of plastic. <laughs> no shit. And it says, do not do something with them. Oh, don't put them in the turtles. <laughs> don't put them. It does. Don't put them in turtles. Oh, That's it genuinely does. You ran for prime minister. London mayor. <laughs> <laughs> Who's written that then? Fired in the morning. You're getting sacked in the morning. <laughs> so out of all the YouTubers that you know, who would you think would make the best mayor? Ah, that's very good. <laughs> Thank you. Now, there's the silly answer, and then there's the kind of who I think would actually do quite a good job. I want both. I think Robbie not to do... Oh. Uh, no, I, he'd be too fascinated with the small bits of running yeah. for mayor, like the stationery you get in, as a and mayor. He'd make everyone a sausage roll. He would. He'd have a lot of... He won't have time. He would be mayor of sausage rolls. There's an Australian YouTuber called Bo Miles, who I quite like. Who Bo would be, Miles? Bo Miles, yeah, so on. He would be pretty good. But from a British YouTuber point of view, I'd give it to Rotashaw for a day just to see how just much time. She she. Would cause. Yeah. Calyx would be quite good. Oh, he would be actually. Everyone in the mayor <laughs> office would be decked out in no two ways, but <laughs> everyone can have some shoes. There'd be so many. I mean, probably by the way things are going, YouTube's are getting everywhere. So that we probably I mean, Zelensky. 
president of Ukraine was a very famous comedian in Is Ukraine. Is it? And so, yeah, I think we will see YouTubers being heads of state at some point. That's scary, isn't it? But we are influential, see? We are. We are. <laughs> we are. You with your guinea pig scarf. Yeah, I know, I, did, I, did, I, I didn't come last. Didn't come last, I even did. though my number number one man at a festo point was don't vote for me. Who came 20th? A woman. Classic. <laughs> Women. Why are they running for a Prime? Called, a woman called Beverly, and I think, I think she was called Beverly. On the night, I came last, because Beverly, she probably wasn't called Beverly, but on the night, Beverly wasn't allowed to attend the results night because she was in jail for smashing up Barclays. So on the night, I was last <laughs> place because 20th place was sat in a cell. What they don't tell you about this, I'm not sure where I should be saying this, on the results night, they get all of the candidates yeah. in a room and they tell you the results in that room. Then you go out on stage and all the cameras and all the oh, reports are there. So God. you knew, so we knew the results react. we went on stage. It was a room genuinely that wasn't much bigger than this set. Bring so, them in! Yeah, it was so awkward. I think we're okay. He's arrived. I've had two drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell, who's here? Oh. Oh. Who is here? It's the ghost of Twitter past. Oh, oh yeah. no. And you've had Twitter? since 2011. Oh, We've had some fun. Would you like 11? to take a drink and yeah. then we'll have a little look at what he's compiled for us. Please. He's a legend, he's in you now. Can you feel him? Ooh. Right, are you ready? Yeah. January the 14th. 2014. I was on my gap year, so she probably should have known better here. I was working at Woucher. <laughs> this makes it so much better. Right, okay. Not normally one for inspirational quotes, but this is a beauty. Always be yourself. Everyone else is taken. Good, good. It is. I think. Yeah. <laughs> I was sat at my desk at Woucher.com just being like, this, this is going is to good. bang. And to be fair, you got one retweet and a like. So, legend. <laughs> one oh. retweet? Yeah, that's quite mean, to be fair. No, I thought that was quite generous. Oh. January the 12th. Jess got my at GoPro for my expedition to swim with blue whales in Mexico. Hashtag excited. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag hello. I did end up making a video did you? with that. Was this in a video of yours before? Were no, you? this was, this was, mm. I went, I went travel, I went with my mum. It was basically just a montage compilation video for my holiday. I used Riptide by Vance Joy. Like, Why do the, I feel like I've heard this? I don't know, I might have shown you. you know, might, <laughs> have a look at this, Meg. <laughs> <laughs> just send you an unlisted link. Oh, this is quite a funny one. You've definitely told the whole room this before tweeting it. Are you a gay zookeeper who wants to come out to co-workers? I got a great opening line but only works in the room with the elephant. <laughs> Good. There's an elephant in the room. Good, I mean, that's definitely uh, my fault because that <laughs> joke could be much less wordier. <laughs> There's a lot going on there. I'm still obviously not over the elephant in the room stuff because I made a video about living 24 hours with oh, an actual elephant in a room. I can't believe you did that, oh, by the way. Neither can I. Tara, she was lovely. 2013, we're going back. Apparently, Adidas stands for all day I dream about sport. Hashtag mind blown. I love the hashtags <laughs> yeah. that we used to use back then. They used to kind of just be like our reaction to the tweet that we've just done. Feeling crazy. <laughs> what am I like? Hashtag what? mind blown. Oh, I love that. What am I like? What am I like? Oh, what do we like? All, like? all day I dream about sport. I don't know whether that's true. I didn't fact check it. I don't think it is. It's not. It's, not. it's made by a bloke called McAdol. Adolf Adidas. Oh, Adi Dazzler, coming in the pub today. <laughs> That's the version of Bobby Dazzler. Ah, oh, it's Bobby oh. Dazzler and Adi Dazzler. <laughs> they never seen without each other. So, I'm so sorry for lying on Twitter. <laughs> this is funny. This is this did give me a tickle. <laughs> Anybody up for a midnight feast in hashtag? <laughs> I can't. I actually can't. <laughs> Anyone up for a midnight feast in hashtag Notting Hill? Hashtag guess who's got drown roly poly. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Anyone hashtag? up for a midnight feast in Notting Hill? <laughs> hashtag Notting Hill, so people can check it. Oh, exactly. Just in case anyone is, you know, scrolling Twitter for midnight feasts. You've got the jam roly poly. I would have been there. Is that suggesting that I've got jam roly poly yeah. and I'm bringing that to the midnight yes. feast? That is my... <laughs> God, that's really embarrassing. Okay, this is a good one. Velcro. What a rip-off. And then you tagged at funny punny puns. <laughs> Please notice me. And also okay. what's funny is that I would have I would have tagged them because I want I would have wanted to get them retweeted mm -hmm. or whatever, but I would have just taken that, I would yeah. have ripped that straight off the internet. October. Let's take you to October 27. I was very active during You this. love Twitter. Can everyone please just stop crying? Hashtag X Factor UK. <laughs> It's a tough time wow. on that show. Wow, okay. Have some remorse. This is a really good one. August 17th, 2013. Max put, worth a shot and added this picture.
I wasn't even directed at anybody. Six likes, though. <laughs> <laughs> that could be worse in terms of things that you've like you write when you're younger on Twitter. I think you did well. I think I got off pretty lightly there. What's, right then. What is this? Spiced rum o'clock. It's, it's called Litty Liquor. So are you feeling litty today? Because we've got some Litty Liquor. Yeah, okay. Can you do a rendition of... Have you seen the state of a body? body? If I'm beating it, it's... I'm not wearing a Johnny. Adiola with On, a roll with a geese. Geezer. Is it me or the lifestyle, sweetheart? Yeah. Rappers now are just getting consonants. It's <laughs> <So, laughs> yeah, a rapper's name from Countdown. <laughs> Have a consonant, please, Carol. What would yours Another be? One. Great. RD, great, fantastic. MF. MF. Might be BJ. Stop it, everyone. Stop, it. Stop being excited. School must cons. have been tough. Stop. Awful. Me and Bradley Jones, we had awful time. <laughs> <laughs> Street smart. Yes, the old school. What is the worst experience you've had out and about? Anything that you haven't shared with us? Drink and thing, please, Max. Oh, I'm actually really struggling. Just kidding. <laughs> Mr. D, what the f are you doing? <laughs> it's nice with the mix. It's nice with the mix. I Okay, yeah, what was the question? <laughs> so, a few things. A lot of times people thought I was the news. No, um, so they BBC thought they were, <laughs> they were on a live BBC broadcast. Oh, no. One thing that did make it in but was the most shocking thing that I've, has ever happened to me, I went to. Las Vegas for the AVN Adult Video Network Awards. I saw this. Which is adult actors and actresses, their I'd awards be show. Sweating. Corn stars. And Vitali was there. And he was really scary. He was there. I didn't realise, but he's got into the corn industry in some some way. <laughs> he was like flanked. He is they were like, like an REF squadron formation of like him at the front and then loads of bikini bikini clad women. And I went up to him, I thought, right, I'm in Vegas. Mm -hmm. I need to talk to him. So I went up to him, was like, Vitali, can I grab you for two minutes of your time? And the first question he asked me no. was, how many followers do you have? <laughs> and so apparently I found out this is quite a normal thing that people do in America. It's oh, like yeah. what's your socials? Yeah, yeah, they yeah, ask yeah. you how many followers you have. And I told him the number, I think I was about 130,000 subscribers at the time. He didn't say anything immediately after I, I, I said that number. And so there was an awkward pause. I was like, is that enough? Yeah. Because I, I didn't know whether he was like, whether there was a threshold at which he would is talk he to me. Is he shocked? I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, is, is that impressed oh you, Vitaly? Yeah. Um, and then he kind of launched into a tirade of me. It's like, what are you talking about? But of course this is enough. Like, why would you think I wouldn't? What are you talking about? And I could tell pretty quickly that he was on some narcotics, oh, allegedly. Sniff, sniff. I, he then proceeded to deep throat my microphone. I've seen this clip. He put the entire thing in his mouth. Stunning. And I genuinely <laughs> don't know what the fuck to do. <laughs> I'd be so scared. Confused. I was yeah. so scared. He had his Avengers next to him. Um, and I kind of was just like, like, thank like, you. Thanks, Mr. Vitali. Have a lovely evening. That was it? That's all he said to you? Genuinely. That's... Deep throat. Tequila, tequila, tequila. Da, 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 da. Da, da. Hey! Tequila. Da, na, 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 na. I don't know my fruits. Oh, oh, yes, I don't. Do you know yours? I don't know my fruits. Cheers. We'll have a look at some fruits in a sec. Oh, oh God, oh, God, oh, God. Right, fruits. What fruit do you see when I show you this? <sighs> it's a banana. Apple? Apple. Is that a kumquat? What do you call me? <laughs> You're a silly boy. It is a... Look around, there's lots of them. A whale's fruit. Uh, that's not a whale, it's a... A, dra a dragon a fruit! fruit. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Oh. That's a pomegranate. It's a pomegranate. That's a pomegranate. I feel really like... Pleased to be in your presence to say it's a pomegranate. Yeah. I don't know. You get them when you go skiing, which I understand is is the most middle class thing I've ever said. They put them on desserts. Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. do you know what it is? No. It's a physalis, but when I was a waitress, yeah. they'd be like, what's that called? I'd say it's syphilis, which is a, an STI. <laughs> Thank you for the clarification. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's a, is that a weird lychee? Lychee with the hair? Rabbitan. Lychee with the long hair. <laughs> Tender, sweet, slightly acidic, like me. Can I have some mini tethers? You are the first guest who's asked to have a prop. 
I mean, mini cheddars hold a, a special place in my heart because on Friday okay. nights when I was growing up in my household, Friday night was crisp night and we were allowed one packet of crisps. It could either be some mini cheddars or it could be uh, ready salted walkers. <laughs> So I would go for mini cheddar. It's bleak, isn't it? Pretty bleak. It's bleak in the posh house. Yeah. I'm so sorry. And then my parents got divorced. And that was why. <laughs> they couldn't choose whether yeah. it was mini cheddars or ready salted. They said, you take ready, I'll take mini. And off they went. How would you like a little scavenger hunt? I know you're quite partial to one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so your next shot isn't actually here. It's hidden amongst the pub. Anyway, who's ready for your riddle? Oh, I've got a, it's a riddle. Okay, fantastic. Well, Max, good thing we're not running out of time. So I can perform this little rhyme. Your fourth shot is behind the blank. Okay, so it's got to rhyme with rhyme. So I think the time, the lime, um, you know where it is. Yeah, I do. I'm just, I'm throwing you off a little bit. Okay. Think, think of the themes. Time, rhyme, blank. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> That's my boy. Dun, 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 dun. Not the HMS bounty. Not the HMS. I'm more of a Snickers man myself. No reaction to that. Good thing we're not running out of time so I can perform this little rhyme. Your last shot. Sorry, your shot is behind the... Am I being really thick? No, here? I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> not. Max, Max. <laughs> if you can't get this, but you can do that... Da Vinci Code, Fort Knox Code. How the hell? What? It's behind the dartboard. No, it's behind the time, time rhyme, rhyme, lime, slime. slime. So we're getting slime, Nickelodeon. Slime. There's no clock. There's no, no it, it's rhymes for that. Yeah, rhymes with time. And, and rhyme. And rhyme. Yes. Uh, Bailey's, but um. <laughs> Prime! <laughs> My finest hour. <laughs> How the hell can you make that fish video and do that? Wow. Yes, well done. You found it. Cheers to scavengers. To vultures. <laughs> to little. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> to the borrowers. I love you all. <laughs> that would be unfortunate. <laughs> oh, Becky, we've got three drinks left. <laughs> We're on the vodka cranberries. We're on the vodka cranberries. Up to 40%. We are. Yeah. We're in the big boy round now. Quick fire round. <gasps> yeah. Sorry, it's quite nice not to have a shot so we can have a bit of a bit know, of a, a bit of breather, and... but a quick fire round just brought it all back. <laughs> I thought maybe we could do Zach or Jay. <laughs> Who'd win a boxing match? Jay. One million percent. <laughs> Jay is hardcore. Exactly. He terrifies me. Best style. Zach. Best hair. Ooh, different styles. Different styles of hair. You've got a buzz cut and a bit of a quiff, I think. I've, I've got to go Zach, sorry mate. Better at sneaking into gaffs. Jamie has like more like confidence. confidence. Yeah. Zach is sneakier in like the he'll make the land yards, whereas Jay will just go in and make make mates with a bouncer. That's why it works. And that's why it works. So, and I think Jay's probably got less fear. So I think Jay's probably better at sneaking in. That's gonna be a controversial thing to say. Uh, who's the nicer person? <laughs> <laughs> Neither of them, Zach's dog Roo. Who'd be more likely to win one of your scavenger hunts? Zach would accidentally stumble across it. <laughs> oh, Max, look. <laughs> Jay's very good at finding the best person for the job. Jay would hire the person that helps write it, so probably Jay. Oh, okay, fair, fair, fair. Jay's very good. Who's most likely to move to Mexico and leave the Zach and Jay channel in the mud? I'm only kidding. Jay, yes to you, my love. Here's to you all the Have way in Mexico. Boy. I said to myself, if I come on this show and I do it fucking properly, I've got two drinks left. Strap in. Maximus Bucharest. Ah, uh, yes. What is the most amount of money you've spent on a YouTube vid? I actually don't think I can act. This is gonna, this come is gonna on. be dramatic. Thank you, Finn, give a wave. That's my uncle Finn. To whiskey, to Wales, to winning the lottery. 
to the national lottery and the postcode as well. Someone's knocking at the door. <laughs> Somebody's ringing, ringing the, the bell. bell. Can we just make a disclaimer that this is my second see it off of the day? This is my first. <laughs> Which makes it work. Right, let's just get it done, let's just get it done. Whatever comes after, comes after. No. Okay, let's do a, let's do a, a sea shanty then. There once was a ship that put to sea. The name was a ship was a billion tea. <laughs> Soon where the mother was coming down the run tea and rum. The only other time I've gotten a fight. Keep talking, it makes me was relax. when I was at Newcastle University and I was quite inebriated and it was during the trend when everyone was shouting, what are those at people's shoes? And we shouted at this one guy, pull me up by the lapel, and he said, <laughs> what did you just say to me? When I get scared, I get really posh. I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, um, I was just a joke. He's like, I'm not a fucking student. Look at my watch, it's worth 25 grand. I earn 25 grand a year. At that point, I said to him, you spent a year's salary on a watch, that doesn't sound very sensible. Hang on, hang on, can I pause? Where has this come from? I just thought I'd tell a story. And then the next thing I know, I got headbutted in the face. But I was with a mate of mine, quite a posh guy. He had the, the most posh reaction when I got headbutted. He just turned to me and just went, mate, that was so fucking out of order. And that boy grew up to be Joe Gilmore. <laughs> Final spirit. It's 45% and it's deadly. It's Greek, like my sister who ran away and got married without telling anyone. Your sister ran away and got married without telling anyone? Yeah. <laughs> no. Awkward Christmas dinner, that's all I can say. Did the husband come or the wife come? Yeah, Maybe. yeah, they did. I found out my sister got engaged on WhatsApp group chat. Oh, not another one. That's not okay. Love you, Kate, though. Hilarious from you, because now I am the favourite girl. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, here we go. Oh! I was in a bar and it was so expensive. Really? It was so expensive that I got embarrassed about how expensive it was working behind the till. So I would discount. give people just random discounts. So I didn't yeah. know, I did like, oh. because I was just so embarrassed. I think the double gin and tonic was like £15.80. And so I remember just kind of giving people discounts. It's quite funny because there's no, there's no information as to what this is. But it does say at the bottom, traditional alcoholic <laughs> product of Greece. Oh, should we do another one after this? Oh, this okay, get him in no Willow. Next up, okay, we're going to do this all again, but with oh, cocaine. Oh, f***ing hell. Ah! Da, 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 da. <laughs> Tequila! <laughs> oh no, I've Good trumpet! Max. Who played the bananas in the pyjamas? Ant and Dec. And where did they get the pyjamas? It was Ant and Dec. It was that and, was it something grow? Those two were their first start. They were the bananas from Bananas in Pyjamas. Have you not heard that? No. Yeah. Really? No. Oh. Who is your biggest YouTube competitor? I don't know, it's all, we're all a big family here on YouTube. Who? We're competing against the big boys in traditional media. Who's, Come on then, yeah. stick them up. Who's someone that you think God, I wish I could outdo that person. I'm gonna have to lie on the floor for a second. Mm -mm. mm -mm 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 it like burnt my little tongue. Oh, that's making me dizzy. No. It was awful. It was awful. No! I saw your pants during that. No, that's actually horrendous. Sorry about that. I might cut out the middle, man. <laughs> I know I'm I know I'm out sharp, but you can Jeez. <laughs> Once the burn's over, it's fine. Oh. <laughs> Just a good luck fart. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's foul. That is generally one of the worst that things I've ever experienced. James Parker, you are a twat. <laughs> He's no friend of mine. I feel like I'm on Rainbow Road. <laughs> Dun, 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 I think I look really sexy right now, but I bet the cameras are going to tell a different story. I think it's going to be Max with the big bunda. Why are you sitting like that? What's that? Oh! Ooh! Awooga! Awooga! It's the final straw, which is where... Which is where we take every drink. No. <laughs> No, 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 no. Little device for it too. Yes, this is the final straw. Get mixing. One for the road. Yeah, okay, <laughs> fine. I can't believe you're driving as well. I'm not driving. Driving up the wall. <laughs> <laughs>
We get an Elizabeth line. Purple She's train, line. purple train. <laughs> Can it ever smell? What's going on for me? It's about to go on you in another way, though. What? <laughs> it smells like De Serrano for Wales and St George. To good ships and bad ships and all the ships at sea. Did you hear about the red ship and the blue ship that crashed into each other? All the crew marooned. <laughs> oh. I'm a paid comedian. Would you guys still love me if I had glasses? What is that? <laughs> <What's your spot? laughs> no, you specky gear. <laughs> drink your drink. Oh, oh, he's gone. He's done it, I didn't mean it. Oh, it's awful. Yeah. So how did you feel about that? That was actually all right. If I politely ask you, could you please nominate someone to come on the show? Barack Obama. He's busy. Liz Truss would be great. Liz. Ardy, you've got a drinks company called Litty Liquor. I think it's disgusting, but I'm just some posh boy from London. So please come on this show and tell Becky why you think everyone should be buying Litty Liquor. Max, yeah. I think we've had enough. Yeah, me too. Get out the pub. Okay. Love you. I'll Stay in touch, darling. I'll take the lift. It's jammed. <laughs>